now it's time for Jeff Bosey. Yay. Uh, <laughs> These seats are so comfortable, by the way. I know. I've been watching you. I'm feeling for you. Uh, like, dude, it's like, like, I, I, it's like a bicycle with no seat. <laughs> it is. Oh, my God. I don't know how Nigel did it last time. Yeah, he sat you know, up I mean, the whole time. Oh God. God. For two hours on this. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, so. so here we go. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you're from what, Bethpage? Where are you from again? Beth? Yeah, don't yeah, well, yeah, some someplace. <laughs> don't, don't drink <laughs> the water. It's, it, it, yeah, it's don't great. It's full of that, um, um, you know, Grumman. So. <laughs> here he is, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the Grumman Corporation. It's Jeff Bosey. <laughs> so uh, I actually, uh, for the first time, I actually had my first uh, my father and son moment. Uh, my kid came up to me and uh, he said, "Dad, did uh, did you always look like that?" And I was like, "Well, you know, I was I was a kid once. I meant that." <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I also uh, I have a stepdaughter, and uh, yeah, I took over that lease. <laughs> she um, she calls me Jeff, but now my son he's of the age and he's starting to call me Jeff. So I said, "Listen, you gotta start calling me Dad." He's like. Well, can I call you what mommy calls you? I was like, no. <laughs> so, uh, my wife actually she uh, she slipped down the stairs uh, the other day, and uh, we we both thought that she cracked one of her ribs. And uh, me being the loving husband I am, I, uh, I I got the best medical attention. I took it to City MD. And uh, we get there, the doctor put the the X-ray up against the uh, the light machine, and uh, he said. Uh, I said to him, I was like, it's true. He's like, what, that she broke a rib? I was like, no, she's heartless. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt really bad about what I said because she heard me. <laughs> so uh, I decided to go ahead the next morning, and I, I picked her up uh, some uh, fresh hot cinnamon bagels. And uh, she walked into the room, and she was like, mmm. I was like, you, you smell the surprise I brought home? She's like, no, you showered. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I I wish there was like a, a book on uh, when you get married. Uh, no one tells you that once you put that little uh, piece of metal on their finger, uh, that it's actually like a volume button, and the only thing it's uh, playing on the radio is uh, "Morning with Bitch and Moan." <laughs> so um, I went ahead and uh, I called up my friend the other day, and uh, he said to me, "He's like, listen." Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go hang out. Uh, we're gonna go to a strip club. You look kind of tense. And I told him I was like, uh, listen, bad idea, bad idea. But I wind up saying, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we pull up to this dump, and I told him I was like, you sure the name of this place isn't Venereals? <laughs> <laughs> we walk in there, and I was like, holy shit, this is where hookers go to die. <laughs> <laughs> One of them comes up to us and says, Hey there, sugar. You want me to take my clothes off for you? And I'm like, listen, I'm going to pay for you to keep your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Another one comes to join her and she goes, Hey there, butter cheeks. You want to come over <laughs> here and have a lap dance and a thing in the booth? And I'm going, great. Now I'm getting an intervention done by Stardust and Coco. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get out of this place. And uh, Mother Russia blocks the door. You want clap dance? <laughs> and I'm going, listen, I'll take the dance. My friend wants the clap. <laughs> <laughs> and time. Good stuff. Jeff Bosey. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny stuff from Jeff Bosey. Let's work it this way. We'll go start with you, Frank. What do you think of Jeff's set? I thought it was good. Um, I give him an eight uh, because he, uh, he, he's, he knows his set. Um, so giving him, limiting him to three minutes uh, didn't didn't deter him, didn't shake him. Uh, he knew the jokes that he was going to tell, uh, and I think he did a good job. Uh, I think some of the jokes um, he can, as we talked about earlier, he's still doing the topic premise punch, which is a great uh, a great way to do it. But I think you could start to put some of these jokes together and make uh, hunks <coughs> make hunks of jokes. Yes. Very good advice from Frank Fayola. All right, Joey. Uh, so I gave you a nine. Nice. Um, you know, I, I thought it was very funny. I, I never really heard those jokes before. I've seen your act before. I don't remember those jokes, but I thought it was very funny. Clever. And uh, I like the voices. I like the voices. Uh, throw some more voices in, man. You do, you do a good job with <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, you do a good yeah. job with the act. act out thank the, you. Yeah, act out the voices. Act out right. the uh, characters. Thank very you. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. And uh, Sally, what's your take on it? 
Um, yeah, I went with Frank. I went with an eight. I thought, and it was exactly the same reason. I thought it was like, da dun 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 so, Set up, um, but up, but up. Set up punch Yeah, yeah. but, you know, they all are good premises. So, yeah, but I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really well done. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Sure. Excellent. And I also agree with, uh, with, with everyone here on the panel and what Frank was saying ab- about creating honks or storyline and, and, uh, and getting through. I think you have great material and you're a really solid writer. You just got to get it to flow, feel more like you're, you're talking to the audience and not just right. telling them jokes. Right. But good stuff. Jeff Bosey. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> nice job, man. Nice job. All right. So now 